Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Microstroke Show. So I'm just showing here. Look, I'm doing a mine, and it's actually showing my people collecting from the mine. Pretty cool. So I'm on a monster hunt. Yeah, just trying to collect. Um, to be a most valiant opponent as well. You have my utmost respect, but I do hope to see you return to normal. Forced closure. Wonder how Natsu and the others are faring. What the heck is that thing? An operating table? It's a far more sophisticated piece of equipment than that. In fact, it collects the patients and prepares them for surgery. Let's go with it! What are you gonna do to us? I'm sure it'll be bad for our health. All of you need something removed, I'm sure. Don't let this thing catch you! Run away! Hey, you're seriously gonna have to do better than that! Oh, is that the case? As I told you earlier, I am the solely designated caretaker of the Astral Spiritus, so that means I also have a great deal of dominance over it. I gotcha! No, that should be impossible! Alright, happy full steam ahead! I saw it! Fire Dragon Iron Man! is almost ready to begin. It won't be necessary for you to keep them occupied any longer, so you may go now. I understand, sir. I take my leave. They're really about to start it? I've got some bad news for you. All your cronies are getting kicked back into the Celestial world one by one as we speak. And you can't hold your little ceremony without them. <laughs> uh, that's probably not a good sound, is it? The power of darkness knows no bounds and has given us another chance to perform the Liberum. We will not give up our dream, and we will not rest until we have attained true and absolute freedom! <laughs> Although we may face setbacks along the way, our hearts are unwavering. We will cast off the shackles humanity has placed upon us! We're outside? Yeah, but something doesn't smell right! Would you just stay in one place already? Oh, Fucus! The time has come to reveal your true form! What does that mean? <laughs> hey, look! I thought she seemed too important to just disappear like that. This state charmer is an absolutely vital part of the Zodiac. So my true form is every bit as majestic as that would entail. In fact, the very place known as the Astral Spiritus is fully contained within my body. Everything that has transpired so far has been inside my body. You coming here was by design. A trap to lure you in. <laughs> and now we can perform the Liberum, which will free us from the human world once and for all. There is nothing you can do to stop us. Oh, Celestial Spirit King, I will not fail you.
being called a snake, but this is ridiculous. I'm scared not to. How in the heck are we going to fight against something that gigantic? One step at a time, buddy. First, we take out Loki so we can stop him from doing that ceremony. Yeah, I guess if we keep it from finishing that, we'll have one last thing to worry about. He's always been kind of a jerk anyway, so let's kick his butt. Ah, sir! Next time, Natsu versus Leo. I'll beat him Sorry. down, stop We've the ritual from happening, and get things back to normal in no time. Attaboy, Natsu! Stars! 
Any stain in my face would still be cleaner than you, mortal. Sure about that? Because from where I'm standing, it's not looking very pure. <laughs> I'll enjoy watching the darkness take you. Oh, that's a pretty cool training. game, I gotta say. Don't just stand there and grab the globe or something! Oh, right! On it, sir! Leave it to us! Hold it! We've got our own party to tend to! By the time I'm done, that darkness of yours will be burning bright again! Here we go! since long before you were born. This pitch black darkness is only added to my strength. Your defeat is a certainty. So come at me with your feeble light if you dare. I thought you'd never end. Fire Dragon! Fire Dragon! <laughs> what the? My flame lost all its power. It had none from the start. My darkness absorbs all light and transforms it into nothingness. Now do you see how helpless you are? Your measly flames could never hope to pierce my pitch black armor. Is that a fact? Fire Dragon! Challenge! <laughs> that cheap trick is getting old real fast! I can take my turn if you like. Of course, there's no guarantee you'll still be alive to take yours once the smoke is cleared. Care to try? Be my guest! This is your last chance to try again. Just do it! Pitch black! Punishment! I knew I shouldn't expect much from human garbage. That's a good one. If I'm nothing but garbage, why couldn't you take me out, Mr. Darkness? Fire Dragon! Ritual 
Why do you persist when it's obvious that nothing can hinder our freedom? You know exactly why I won't quit. If you do this, Lucy will cry. There's no way I'm letting that happen. That's not our problem. The tears of a human mean less than nothing to us. All we care about is liberty. You pathetic mortals will be consumed by time and space, while we illuminate its splendor long after you've faded into memory. Now vanish into my pitch black darkness! Since you've been stealing my power this whole fight, I'll just have to take it back! You can go on and on about controlling darkness, and that's what does it for you. I don't give a crap, because no matter what you think, you're still our friend, Loki, and Lucy needs you to snap out of it! Blackfire Dragon Mode! Dragon Slayer Secret Arms! Constellation is back proves it. I should have known this wouldn't be done so easily. Why is the snake chick melting out of tune? Can you tell what she's saying? Omelette, mackerel, and some shellfish and porridge. It's still all. not the time to think with your stomach. It's never the right time with you. She's saying Omnia Magna, Stella Rex Pride. All for the sake of the King of Stars. Let's get the mahoo! 
this doesn't make sense. Nazi just closed Loki's gate. So how is the lever I'm still going? This won't end well. Why is the snake chick belting out a tune? Can you tell what she's saying? Omelet, mackerel, and some shellfish and pork. It's tickle. still not the time to think with your stomach. It's never the right time with you. She's saying Omnia Magna, Stella Rex Pride. All for the sake of the King of Stars. Uh, it can't be. sinister voice yeah it was like it came out of nowhere it didn't sound like any spirits i know of there is one other spirit that should be around here isn't there a 13th zodiac member that's the rumor anyway what was that i don't know but it was creepy it sounded like an incantation a libram It shan't be long now, comrades. Very soon the shackles that bind you to this earthly plane will be severed. Your liberation is close at hand! We're right in front of her, ready to fight. She's acting like she's already won. Ah, oh, man. This headache is killing me. From the amount of heat you're putting out, I don't think that this is an ordinary sickness. Could be a side effect of Loki's darkness magic. Say what? You ate it, remember? In that case, my guess is that darkness magic and dragon slayer magic don't fit. They're probably fighting it out inside you. It's kind of like you ate a chili dog right after down at the pit tight. Except my stomach isn't the problem. Whatever this is, I can't fight it full strength until I get rid of it. 
There's a section about the Librum. If memory serves, it also mentions a king. Is the Celestial Spirit King behind this or not? But of course he is. You know, I always wanted to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with old nose hairs, but I didn't really have a decent excuse until right now. <sighs> How can you defeat my king when you're about to fall to me? What's she doing? I am Ophiuchus, the snake charmer. Chosen guardian of the celestial spirit king. I am the 13th spirit of the zodiac. The deadly shadow of my liege! Three spirits still stand strong, and there is nothing you can do to stop us. Oh man, she's really lost it.
didn't tell you. However... Now that we can fight together, there's a certain spell that comes to mind. Right. Oh, stars far and wide that embody the heavens. By thy radiance, reveal thy form to me. I am Thor, Tetrapiblos, the eternal ruler of the stars above. Now that the aspect is complete, I ask that you lend your power to me. Let your unrestrained rage flow. I know from the raging tumultuous heat. Come on, before they finish casting. There is great balance in unified action. It's time for the punishment! You shall not prevail! With an all 88 heavenly bodies! Shiny! Let's finish it. All right. fabricated a ritual, Liberum, knowing they would try to perform it, but that you would stop them by sealing their gates. So the spirits never really even had a chance at freedom, and the whole reason that they were fighting was just one big lie? They were tricked into the whole thing, as were we. The celestial globe serves as a conduit. It channels power from the constellations of the Zodiac to my king. The ritual we set out to perform sole purpose is to grant him the Zodiac strength. It's called the Liberum Verus. Is there any mention of it in that book? There is, but it'll probably take me more than a minute to translate it. Just do it as quickly as you can. I need to know all of the details. Okay, I'll do my best. The problem with Liberum Verus is that it can only sacrifice spirits in the celestial plane. Sacrifice? But why? Becoming an Eclipse Spirit did endow the Celestial Spirit King who was already the strongest being in his world, with power greater than he had ever known, but it also gave him an appetite to match. Fearful of his mighty hunger, the Zodiac Spirits attempted to flee the Celestial World. They strove to be free of him. But their Celestial Bodies pulled them back to the stars to resist was to suffer and to give in was to die. 
The setup was perfect. With the false hope of the Liberum, I set them and you to work at granting my king the power he craves. The Celestial Spirit King was that affected? So what I'm getting out of this is he's turned into a mean old lunatic who nobody wants to hang out with because he's got no control of himself. We thought we were fighting to protect the spirits, but we ended up putting them right into harm's way. To think we've been banishing them to the very place that they were so desperately struggling to escape. A world ruled by a power-crazed monster. How awful. I can't believe this crap. That isn't the worst of it either. If this demented Celestial Spirit King goes unchecked, if his rampage can't be stopped, then the Celestial Spirit World will collapse in on itself. You mean the whole damn place? Indeed. Princess Hisui's prediction may well come to pass. If the Celestial Spirit World goes, then you'll disappear right along with it, lady! If it's what my leave should happen to desire, then I shall cease to exist with pleasure! All is at the will of His Majesty, the Celestial Spirit King! <laughs> You're willing to die just to give him more power? That's freaking crazy! I didn't even know what this even was. They they have put so much into this app game. Um, than just wolves come out. We should reinforce the fences some more. Is there somewhere nearby we can get some more? channels power from the constellations of the zodiac to my king. The ritual we set out to perform sole purpose is to grant him the zodiac strength. It's called the Liberum Meros. Becoming an eclipse spirit did endow the celestial spirit king, who was already the strongest being in his world. Power greater than he had ever known, but it also gave him an appetite to match. It was like the zodiac. 
Alright, the game glitched out, so uh, please like and subscribe.